I think the most important thing is that the HTTP protocol has started to develop. Uh, when we started, it was HTTP 1.1 and it was cast in stone and nobody could really foresee a new version of the HTTP protocol. Uh, in, in the last couple of years, we've seen a lot of uh, development in the HTTP protocol space. They stock everything on one TCP connection. So when you go into a homepage, you'll typically have a CSS and you'll have a logo and main HTML and blah, 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 all these things, JavaScript. And it used to be that your browser would open six connections. And if you lost a packet somewhere, maybe your CSS would be delayed or the logo would be delayed, but the rest of it would get through. Now we have all of it stock on one TCP connection. So if you lose a packet on that one, everything gets stuck. I think the key feature of Varnish is that we have a we have the VCL language, which means whatever your problem is, you can get it solved one way or another. You can go in there request by request and do what you need to do, no matter how stupid your CMS or whatever happened. And that's probably the key feature of Varnish. That is probably the most important thing we brought to the world is that, you know, you can program your HTTP request. Um, Caching is a big part of it also, and, and caching is going to exist for the future because it's one of the big three problems of, of computing.